All right, I'm gonna show you how to mount a door onto the door fender stand. Like I say, these things slide on and off, usually for doors, I'll, I'll put the center support on the inside in these, you know, go to the outside. When you're doing a fender, it's just the reverse. You know, I'll have this on the uh, lower part of the fender and this towards the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount it. What I wanna do, I wanna lock my casters. I'm gonna leave these loose. Just lift my door up. I find a couple uh, symmetrical holes on the back side. Found the holes. So I'll take this center support here. I'll just hold my knee out where I want the door now. Just put it where I want it, tighten all my knobs. And it's just that easy to load a door onto the door fender. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mount a fender on this. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lock my casters and I'll leave these loose. In this, I leave the, the rear support, you know, just go to the back side of the fender on this one, so whatever side. So I leave that loose as well. All right, I take my fender, I find the front bolt hole that I want to use, and I just pick one in the back. So I've got it hooked. So now I'll come along to secure the bottom of the fender. I'll just hold my knee out to where I want it to be. And I have all these loose. Okay, and then I got it where I want it to be. I just start tightening the knobs. Tighten this. All right, I've got my fender mounted. So now I'll just come up and give, put a little bit of slight pressure on these tees just to tighten everything up. So that's all there is to it. It's really simple to or, you know, mount fenders on the, the door fender stand. You can do it in seconds. Like I say, you have full access to the backside. Next, I want to talk to you about maintenance on the, the door fender stand. We strongly recommend when they're brand new, spray them, put a couple good coats of booth coating on them. Uh, and like I say, even in a high production shop, you might only have to pressure wash it and recoat it three, four times a year. But I mean, it's just night and day different how well the rack will work when everything slides properly. Next, I wanna show you something new that we came out with. We know how uh, difficult the overspray is on these racks inside the spray booth, and especially on our hooks, because you, you, it's, it's, you're getting complete paint coverage because this is right where it holds it, so you get multiple coats of paint every time you use a rack. So we know the buildup is really intense right in here. So we've come up with these rubber sleeves, and it's like, say, if you have an existing uh, rack and you want to start putting these on, these are going to be available for the door fender, single and double, and it's also they're also going to be available for our ultra rack. So say if you have an existing rack and you want to start using these, what I would suggest, just grind off all your overspray, Get it down, you know, it can be bare metal at that point, and then just slip this on top. So it's, these are all form fitted to match your hooks. So get it in place, and then just take uh, some electrical tape because they are they they do have an adhesive, but it will not stick to an existing. So then just go along, put a couple uh, pieces of tape on it, you know three, four spots and you're gonna be good. And as I say, once a month, just come along, cut the backside off, throw it away, put a new one on. They're inexpensive. It's just a, a, a lot easier for maintaining your rack with these rubber sleeves. There are a lot of advantages to the door fender single. And like say, what I have here, I have like, okay, here's our, our door. So I can just flip this like this. And with uh, my fender, now I can line it up you know, say I'm spraying the door and the fender of the same vehicle. Now I can line it up just like it sits on the car. So it doesn't matter what your air pressure is. It's going to spray the same. You're going to get better color matches. Uh, it's just a great rack. There's a lot of advantages to the door fender single.